Welcome back, stamp collectors. This is Nier Automata, and in this part, we don't get charged for admission. They pay us. Remember, that's just Juliet 1. And this is Romeo 1. But wait. There, there are, there are two Juliets. And now there are two Romeos. Oh, oh, oh dear. The Montague is in the Capulets. And so the characters have fallen as though aligned by the stars into a kind of brutal slapping fest that can only be simulated by machines that can take it like tin cans on pebbles. As they explode one by one, the fighting does not stop. And neither does the expletive driven dialogue. Go pisseth thyself. Okay, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I laughed the first time I saw it. I mean, seriously. Hey, they have self-destruct protocols. See, this, this is why it is indeed a terrible thing that humankind was driven to the moon off the face of the earth, because now the machines are unable to make sense of Shakespeare. Alright, Romeo's and Juliet's is a, mu is a much more comedic take of the, of the classic The Tempest, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And David Copperfield. All right, well, thank you. So guys. how many times have they failed the production of Hamlet is what I wonder. How many Hamlets have been sent to their dooms for the entertainments of these smiley face machines? And this is me, I guess, making my very slow, like, Shia LaBeouf clapping, like... Yes! Yes! It's beautiful. <laughs> but okay, I'm confused as to why that why it still actually has a uh, uh, a uh, a mm -hmm. stamp collecting uh, a col <laughs> uh, stamp collecting uh, a thing here because uh, we got the stamp that's here. <laughs> or did we? <laughs> this game has a little surprise for you. Remember that elevator that we walked away from? This, this path, oh, this path the I want to go back down and uh, back down into the Yorha Yorha Exile. Well, I mean, mind you, there is still like one area that is completely blocked off, however small, and that's the area in between the roller coaster ride and the boss arena we were just in, which got which got transformed into mock Shakespeare exhibition stage. Uh, and again, this was a pathway we could have taken earlier, but we would have found uh, nothing but a few random items that the game auto-generates every time you load this area anyway. So now you will see... Uh, copper ore. Copper ore, and... Zombies! Oh. The, yes, the the, the zombie. Yep, there, there it is. There's a zombie. Yep, they are shambling machine clown zombies. Thirteen hundred attack, zero defense. Not thirteen fifty for the record. Damn it! Oh, level twenty threes. They're converging. 
My god, we're surrounded by the un de dead. You can't be dead if you were never really alive. N says you. Everywhere. Yeah. Things in the foreground. The, the light keeps shimmering on and off. Oh yeah, and they're also they're also like puking zombie bar for whatever. I, I don't fucking know. Yes, yeah, so everybody stand. Everybody stand in line now. We're still in an amusement park. You gotta wait your turn for the ass whooping. Oh crap! Is nine S actually? Yeah, nine S is actually attacking. Just he's not doing all that much damage. No, he's, he's, he's getting some hits. I mean, every hit is valuable, because 9S can't be hurt. But it's nice. It's really nice. Okay. Now, because we are on a higher playing field, we might have to... Yep. Got to fight for that ground spot so that we can fire forward with our pod. Because this, this fight has gotten rather ridiculous. We are being, There is a fucking wall of enemies on the right side of us. Must get that. Oh, a machine core. So this is uh, one of those instances yeah. where I would think that having an axe type weapon specifically would be really nice because of the uh, the additional uh, reach and shockwave that uh, that the axe actually uh, uh, grants you access to. Yes, um, reach reach is definitely something because as uh, as we had just switched over to barehanded combat, now we are at minimum range. Which is why having a pod laser also is pretty nice. Vengeance 6. Plus 6. I forget what Vengeance does. It sounds intriguing. More than likely, it's either it's either uh, spikes or, uh, or, a, or a small damage steroid. We got the stamp. Okay, crazy machine. We're gonna leave you in your little twisted metal crucifixion standpoint. Oh, oh, that that is a failure to load textures right there. <laughs> there, there is definitely so there is definitely not supposed to be just clouds and nothingness over there. I assure you. Or is it a failure to load? No, I'm pretty sure that's a failure to load textures because yep, because that's the foreground for this whole bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we still need one more stamp, right? Yes, and the final stamp is located near the entrance to the amusement park, actually, which is cool because that's where you turn in the quest. I mean, it's not like I practiced this. Although, although actually, no, I, I mean, I could have. I could have practiced this. I don't think I did, though. I mean, it is just stamp collecting. Doors are too slow for us. I'm gonna Chun Li you to death, beating you punch after punch. Mm. Oh, item, item. There's an item behind the cart. The cart didn't load. I saw it. D d damn it. <laughs> the balloon, brother. Have fun. Don't fuck with us. Rev death machine. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everybody I've seen who said stamps have given me a stamp. All right, give me that stamp. You little leap frogger, you. There we go. The last stamp. Well, he humps 9S's right knee. Alert. All stamps have been obtained. Lovely Proposal. choker. Ooh. Return to the entrance and secure the promised deluxe prize. Deluxe, huh? There's a word that's really fallen out of use, a choker. Who the hell wants to wear a choker? Just wear a necklace. <laughs> yeah, I kinda, mostly. I, I, liked, I liked the Romeos and the Juliets. That was, that was pretty cool. Whether or not you enjoy something simply depends on your own heart. So says the heartless Tin Man. Is it good? The suspense is killing me. Oh, it is uh, good. Fast cooldown plus three. Nice. 5,000 G. And enough experience to level up. 
Cool. That is awesome. On the subject of things that are awesome. We're not going to stop the uh, the convoy? Oh, there we go. Got him. All right, so our new friend there is just going to chill out while we um, <clears throat> bring order to the marketplace. There we Everything's go. for sale. Everything for sale. Everything for sale. <laughs> Ooh, some titanium alloy. Hey, it's Troll Face. It's a mule. Oh, wow, wow. Hey, have you finished your Xenoblade Chronicles 2 playthrough yet? <laughs> Well, you know, you know what I find weird about this exchange is that we knew his name before he introduced himself. There's, there's more to Emil than meets the eye. Just I'm not even sure to the extent that Emil is a thing. But because he is a vendor, he will give us gold or or G rather in exchange for things we probably won't be using. So yeah, uh, Vengeance has got it. Uh, Vengeance is technically spikes. It's uh. It, uh, the higher the higher uh, amount of vengeance you have, the better you have a chance to uh, up apply spikes on their attacks. Hell yeah, spikes. You want vengeance six. I don't think you should settle for anything lower than six. Because it means that 35% of the time you will take zero damage from an enemy attack because all that damage will be reflected back on the enemy. Mirror force. And uh, is this... Yep, this is Emil's inventory. Emil likes uh, chips that all have the same uh, degree of effectiveness. You should come back and see him when he's selling sixes, which we do later in the playthrough. Okay. Ooh, yep. last stand. But yep, this should peel away some of the mystery from some of the effects that you should be after. You can get, you can stock up on anti-chain damage right now. Um, melee defense is not a bad idea. But the drawback, however, is that Emil's um, ch the chip capacity for chips that you get specifically from Neil are basically maximized. So you're paying okay. the heaviest cost in order to apply chips that if you do it the legit way, um, they will be cheaper to equip. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, Emil. I am a dignified lady. <laughs> I will not have this stupid trumpet fanfare while man s has a junkyard pile in his back of the in the back of his stupid truck. Well, one of those is a microwave, isn't it? Or is that a? Or is a, that a uh, no, it's a CRT TV. And that's a pressure tank. That's PVC piping. A girder. Um. Uh, appears to be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, it's a, a rice shop vac. That is a really old television set. And See, he's like, got multiple CRT TVs in there. Oh, yeah, and we equipped the... And I guess I had the machine mask in my inventory. Yep. Uh, we are uh, we are re-accessorizing. Okay. You know what? You think 2B looks strange? Oh, I think 2B thinks you look strange. Uh, a bit, but... <laughs> you know, we have some rather uh, forward-thinking... of fellows back at the resistance camp who love the machine mask and in the next part while well, we get a few niche items you should always look in these little cubbies for shit like g uh we're gonna be doing even more side missions and it's gonna be fun okay then be safe everybody yes thanks oh. for watching